Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at some of the Apple Pencil enhancements that have been added in iOS 11. So Apple have added a few different things that make the Apple Pencil more useful throughout the OS, especially if you're using one of the iPads which actually supports the Apple Pencil, in which case you'll be able to use it a lot more than previously. So it starts with instant markup. So instant markup is basically a way of quickly annotating screenshots and PDFs. So this feature is actually available on the iPhone as well, but it works better with the iPad, uh, obviously, because of the Apple Pencil, uh, just makes it a better experience. So I'll show on the iPad, but it works on the iPhone as well. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and take a screenshot. So as a standard thing you normally do, and you'll see it. we now get a little thumbnail down here. Now I can swipe that away and just have it save it directly to my photos like we're used to. Or what I can do now is I can tap on it. And when I tap on it, as you can see, it brings up a new editing panel. And this gives me options for annotating it and marking it up. So I've got all my tools down here and I've got my Apple Pencil here. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and just uh, let me choose a <laughs> colour that you can see better. Let me choose white. Uh, I can just go ahead and mark it up. Obviously I've got all the different tools. I've got a highlighter. Uh, I've got my pencil and then uh, this will save as an image I can even crop it so if I go here I can crop so if I just want a, s a small portion of this screenshot maybe I want to send it to someone I can just take that bit so in this case I've got part of my dot and I can just do whatever I want with that and then I can change it depending on what I want uh, put it back to how it was before and then once you finish with this you can go to done and you're given a couple of options you're giving save to photos so if you just want to save it as and you know just a normal screenshot like you usually do or you can just as you saw the other option there was to delete the screenshot so that will just delete it uh, if you took a screenshot by accident and you don't want to have to keep it you can just do that straight away the same has been added for PDFs so if I go into Safari I've got a web page open this is just one of the developer pages about App Store rules and what you can do and what you can't do as a developer what Apple have added in iOS 11 is a new feature in Safari where it can read the web page and convert a web page into a PDF. So if I go to over here where it has the share options and when I go to create PDF, it puts everything into a PDF so it picks it all up and just makes one nice PDF. One thing I'm not sure about is the fact that this is actually a, a one page PDF. So all of this is just one page, uh, which won't work very well in terms of sending it to other people. But if you're going to keep it on your iPad, it should be fine. And then what I can do is I don't even have to tap any tools. I can just pick the pencil up and just annotate straight onto it um, like that. So uh, I can obviously go ahead and access more tools. So if I want to do something more specific like highlighting, I can obviously go and highlight um, something and change the color and whatever. But uh, you can basically do that with PDFs anywhere throughout the OS. And then you get the same option. You've got sharing options and you get the same options here. You can either delete the PDF or you can save the file to and what this will do will actually open a, a browser where you can look at all your files and this will basically show you all of the different sources from the files app so if I go out of here you can see all the sources I've got on my iPad and iCloud whatever uh, wherever you tend to store your stuff you can choose and yeah so you'll be able to save stuff to there and you can add it or just do as I'm going to do and just cancel it go here and delete the PDF so that's basically how you can annotate it. That's the instant markup feature in iOS 11. Again, it works for PDFs anywhere. You don't have to just you do it from Safari. Um, but anywhere, so whether it's in mail or if you just receive a message from someone in iMessage or if you just got a, a PDF that you found in the Files app, you can just straight away start marking it up with the Apple Pencil. You can obviously use your finger as well if you want. Uh, if you don't have the Apple Pencil, you can just use your finger to mark it up, and it works on the iPhone as well, as I said. So the last part of this video is just about Instant Notes. Now, this is something that only works on the iPad because of the fact that it works in conjunction with the Apple Pencil to activate the feature. So this works on the lock screen, and effectively what it is is a way to quickly create notes just on the fly. If you just think of an idea and you want to write something down or draw something out, sketch it out, you can quickly do it using your Apple Pencil and your iPad. So obviously this will only work with the iPad Pros because they're the only iPads that support the Apple Pencil. Um, and I'm sorry for my uh, fingerprint covered display. But if I go to the lock screen and the way it works is I just tap the pencil on the lock screen. Uh, it doesn't always work perfectly. There you go. So it just launches a quick note. Um, it is safe so I haven't actually, as you can see I've still got the padlock at the top so I haven't unlocked the iPad so it's not like it's unsafe so people can just pick up my iPad and instantly get access to my notes. Uh, you can only access this sort of screen. 
and it gives me the ability to just pick up my pencil and just go ahead and sketch. Well, obviously, I can use my finger uh, and just whatever I wanted to sketch. I can just doodle whatever I wanted to do. So that's basically how that works. And if I go back to the lock screen by just hitting the sleep weight button and hitting it again, uh, and I tap my pencil again, you'll notice that it resumes to the same note. So that's something I'll show you how you can change if you don't want it to do that in a minute. Um, but it will default to just go back to the same note uh, unless you specify it later on, which I'll show you now. So uh, as you can see, if I press the home button, it does ask me to enter my passcode so I can't just access the rest of the iPad. But if I just go to there and just unlock my iPad, and now I'm going to go into the settings to show you how it works. So if I go down, you have to scroll down and go to notes. And from here, if you go down and tap access notes on the lock screen and just tap on that, you'll get the various options which you need to know about to configure that timing feature that I talked about. So when you create a new note from the lock screen and then close it, you can choose whether or not from this screen, whether or not you want it to return to the same note when you tap the pencil to activate it again, or if you want it to create a new note. So you, these are the options that I just described. And down here, you can choose the time delay. So for five minutes, uh, as an example, uh, once you uh, lock, finish with a note and you lock your iPad, if you try accessing that note again with the pencil on the, on the lock screen, uh, within the next five minutes, it will resume to that note. However, if you tap your pencil to activate the feature, after five minutes of closing that note, it will create a fresh note. So then you have to go and unlock your iPad to access the previously created note. So obviously, as it says here, shorter times are more secure, so if you don't want to have to uh, worry about people going in or, and obviously messing up stuff in a note you previously created, then you can have a shorter time. Or if you prefer to never have, uh, or you know, sort of always be working on the same note from the lock screen, you can have that. Or maybe every day you might want to have a different thing, sort of like flipping a new page uh, every day. But that's basically it for the Apple Pencil enhancements in iOS 11. Uh, as I said, it's mainly just instant markups so with the PDFs and then also the uh, instant note feature from the lock screen on the iPad. If you want to know more about the Notes app improvements that have been done in iOS 11, uh, check out my video on it somewhere up here. Uh, that's a full walkthrough of all the new features in the Notes app in iOS 11. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, then do leave a comment in the comment section of this video and get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe by hitting the logo that's in the middle of the screen. And also do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.